A reading from One Day, Gaia's Gifts, Chapter 10, With Love from Hari. I arrive in this moment so in love with my tribe. When we are birthed together as souls and enter the incubation time spent with our grandmother energy, those also known as the ancient ones, our tribe holds a unique vibration that is formed and soothed through the sound and light of our grandmother energy. When the collective vibration is harmonically sound, then within that cocoon, we each begin to form our unique soul identity. Much like children at a playground or dogs in a dog park, there is the period of getting to know each other and feeling the unique energy and how it is expressed in each individual soul. In this incubation time, we are able to play and experiment with each other, identifying our preferences of vibration. Just as children on a playground or dogs in a dog park, there are those who enjoy much movement and activity and dialogue. And there are those who enjoy sitting in the sun or the shade and watching the antics of the group. Each has its place within the whole and all are valuable for the unique contribution. So the child willing to swing higher or climb on top of the monkey bars shows the others new possibilities, new heights, the thrill of pushing outside our comfort zones. The one who is watching from the sidelines can identify where there is a need for extra attention to one in the group or a shift in the dynamic of the ways in which individuals are engaging so that there is more inclusion or more room for equal time going down the slide. Each one in a soul tribe contributes a unique part to the whole. And without each one, the whole would be incomplete. The evolution of a soul tribe moves from the incubation period with the grandmother energy on to what we as humans would call school. The love, support, and nurturing of our unique grandmother energy is like an energetic umbilical cord that moves with us always as a soul, connecting us back to our original source. In times of challenge or confusion in our soul journeys, the telepathic connection to our grandmother energy is always available and accessible in a moment's choice. This unique connection is endless, infinite, and pure. As the grandmothers, the ancient ones, reflect the pure light of source energy. As we advance to school as a soul tribe, the parallels to the flow of education here on earth are consistent. As a new soul tribe, just beginning our journey, We are much like elementary school students, learning how to be separate from our parents, grandmother energy, exploring how to communicate our own thoughts and ideas, and how to receive reflections from those wiser than us as they support our learning. We become accustomed to structure and routine and begin to identify our role within the whole. As our souls travel through various experiences on planets and in thought fields of energy, We are drawn, magnetized, towards different themes or lessons that expand our understanding and growth as a soul. The more of these experiences we have, the more color and light and sound and texture is added to our unique soul vibration. More creates more, creates more. This is so true of the journey of the soul. We simply continue expanding. As the individual souls within a soul tribe expand, the soul tribe itself strengthens in collaboration and harmony and co-creation. Thus, the evolution of one impacts the tribe, and the evolution of the tribe supports the expansion of the one. And this movement and flow simply continues becoming more. My role within the Gaia tribe is primarily to shine light from the center of the space out in all directions, much like a light in a lighthouse that continually rotates, identifying a center point so that all who are traveling past the lighthouse know that the center point represents the place where land and sea meet. And so those witnessing that rotation of the light are able to better gauge the distance they hold from that known center point. I love my unique role within the whole. I am able to witness and celebrate such a beautiful and power expansion of the whole from my steady seat at the center. 
As our soul tribe evolved, we were gifted by the elders with this beautiful planet of Gaia in thought form. Much like our grandmother energy had taught us, we played with the thought form. Like a class of elementary school students would divide up Play-Doh and see what each could create individually until perhaps the teacher guided the group to work as one. And then they were able to create an even more magnificent outcome. So it was for us. As we played with elements, stars, dust, and created the first thought form of Gaia, which was discarded as the next evolution arrived. Nothing is ever wasted. And so that first thought form now holds sacred space for Gaia, Earth, as her moon. Our second attempt to create a physical representation of time and space, the density of matter and form, we co-created a tiny blue physical planet that had three elements, rock, water, and air. And yes, our love and attention, the magical element. Around our tiny blue planet, we visualized and brought into form an energy bubble that is known as the atmosphere of Earth. And this is where the story of my gift begins. Howdy. Unsealing gift number 10. The number 10 simplifies down to the number 1, which is the number of beginnings. Gaia, Earth, began her journey as a unique energetic being in the moment that the Gaia tribe sealed her atmosphere. We had learned from our grandmother energy how to focus our attention as a cohesive group to support the evolution of the whole. We applied this practiced ability to our tiny blue planet as we determined and perfected the distance she needed from her source to maintain the balance of her three elements. Much like middle school students just learning the periodic table and the basics of elemental science or chemistry, our soul tribe was testing the balance of the chemicals internally within the incubator of Gaia and externally with Gaia's participation in the whole of the universe, her movement in relationship to the movement of, movement of all other planets and thought forms. We delighted in the experimentation. Each of us in the soul tribe brought our unique awareness and understandings to the play that was happening with time and space and the density of matter through Gaia. Much like middle school students who know the basics of the playground rules and yet are trying to identify who they will be when they grow up, each of us in our soul tribe, along with Gaia, our experiment gift, we were all growing up together. Our focus as a group was to support the evolution of this tiny blue planet created by thought into ultimately a self-sustainable energy field that could continue infinitely and independently of our tribe. Just as teachers in the educational system ultimately create independent young adults who thrive when leaving the supervision of their teachers. Quite the challenge for the ability level of a soul tribe equivalent to middle schoolers. We experimented with the balance of chemicals and temperature and realized that this planet required her own inner light or center point just as our soul tribe thrived through the balance my soul provided as the center light. Gaia's gift number 10 is the light that sits at the center of this beautiful thought form, representing time, space, and the density of matter we know and love as Gaia. A crystal, an enormous crystal, an energetic contribution of light gifted directly from source, through my light, representing the center point of the Gaia tribe, transmitted directly to the center point of the planet. How is that possible, many ask from the human mind? This crystal represents the magic of belief, of trust, of a knowing that we are always connected to our source. We are always one unique individual part of the whole. This crystal that sits at the center of Gaia Earth allows her rotation around the sun to always be exactly in perfect balance to the source light from which all originate. Gaia, 
communicates directly with source energy through this crystal. And this connection point is what allows Gaia to be sustainable in her own right. Our role as the Gaia tribe evolved. Much like middle schoolers, moving to high school, we gained more independence as a tribe to begin playing on Gaia within our energy field once her physical form was sustainable. And so began the process of incarnation. At first, through the physical form of animals, and over time, ultimately, into the more evolved human form. Gaia strengthened and evolved and learned and expanded as beings of energy and light began moving in and out of her incubator, always with intention, deliberate purpose for the expansion of consciousness. Just as a teacher learns through the teaching of her students, Gaia thrived in the hosting of her earth school. All who have come into her energetic field have learned more for their own journey and contributed greatly to Gaia's journey. As the soul tribe who created this beautiful energy field and helped her begin her journey, we witnessed with great pride and experienced with the greatest of joy the evolution of Gaia into the self-sustainable energy field she has now become. Gaia is a beacon of light in our universe. And all are able to see their unique placement within the whole through the movement of Gaia, the energy field formerly known as the tiny blue planet, through Gaia's rotation around Source. An extension of Source energy, Gaia's light has extended the radius of consciousness. As more multiplies exponentially from the steady, larger radius of light she beams out into consciousness. Our deepest and infinite love always connects us as a tribe to our beloved Gaia. Here I am. Here I am, the crystal sitting confidently and eternally at the center of Gaia. How do we access a crystal that is 4,000 miles under the surface of the planet underneath our feet, many ask. The powerful energy vortex of Gaia's crystal is activated through the same magic as which it was created. Belief, trust, a knowing that it is so. You, as the individual soul in a human body within the collective tribe of humanity, playing at this time in the incubator of Gaia, you, as the individual, claim your role within the whole. The steps are simple. Choose one day to tap into the energy of the crystal. Find a comfortable space in the center of your home and seat yourself on the floor. Close your eyes. Slow down your breathing to a comfortable rhythm. Relax your muscles. And allow yourself to become a conduit of light just as Hari did in the formation of the crystal. Connect in directly to source creator, the sun, high above your physical head outside of Gaia. And choose to allow source light to stream straight through the crown of your head, through the center chakra system of your body, straight down through your root chakra, into the surface of the earth. Visualize that light from source traveling directly to the diamond-shaped crystal at the center of Gaia. The activating element that unseals this gift is your belief that it is so. Your trust that you are a conduit of light. You stream source light through you and activate the stored energy in the crystal at the center of Gaia. You, you are a unique, irreplaceable part of the whole of consciousness. And your choice to sit in this space and unseal gift number 10 allows Gaia to expand her light in direct proportion to the expansion of your light you become more in this moment of activation, just as Gaia becomes more. (sighs) 
Allow the energy to flow from source through you into the crystal, transmuted into more light, coming back from the crystal, dissolving time and space and the density of matter as the light flows through your soul human experience and out into the consciousness of the universe. Simply feel the flow of light and energy. Experience the love that only you could contribute at this moment of time. Sit quietly, simply breathing in and breathing out as the energy flows through you until you feel complete with your experience. When you are complete, refuel your physical body with several glasses of water to rebalance the chemicals within your human form. And then honor this new beginning of an expanded relationship with Gaia. Whenever you feel the urge to be a conduit of energy between Source and Gaia, your connection to the crystal light at the core of Gaia is always available. We are never depleted when we connect to Source energy externally. And likewise, we are never depleted when we connect to the crystal energy at the center of Gaia internally, within her energy field. Shine more brightly as your light adds to the radiance of the light being transmitted from Gaia out into consciousness. Blessings to all from Hari.